guys welcome back to the channel s here from sna's organite creations now what this video is going to be about is all this fake um organite out there so i'm going to be showing you some pictures of these fake organite pyramids and i'm going to show you what i mean and different examples and um these sort of pyramids here that you see are mass produced and they are, they are everywhere so let me get into it so the reason why this is fake is organite is basically the strength of the organite matters depends on how many layers you've got by layers of the inorganic and organic materials now you can see obviously this is made of resin you've got crystals in here this one here is particularly red jasper as it says there and um the metal is probably brass because it's goldish in color and um all you've got is very thin layer as you can see they're probably like a little mill thick of these little um, larger particles of metals um in there and that's about it all right now Around all the base, you've got clear resin, big gaps of clear resin, okay? You're paying for that. There's, that serves no purpose, and it's just loaded with red jasper. There is a quartz crystal in the middle, if indeed that is a real quartz crystal. Who knows with these ones? But I'm going to move on to another example. So you've got this one here, and this one's basically a selenite pyramid. Now, you can see the similarities, okay? So you do have that very, very thin metal particles there you've got quartz crystal in the center this one here is just loaded with selenite selenite's great but this is not organite okay now all this here is your clear you can see how thick that is it looks like it's thick of just clear resin and also around the outside everywhere like going down is clear as well so i don't know how exactly they make these but it seems to be like they make the pyramid and then they cover it again with resin, a big thick layer of resin over the top of that. So you're actually paying, you, you get a larger, larger pyramid, but you're actually playing for the clear resin. All right, so this one here is uh, nearly $190, all right, for this one here. It's their large pyramid, and their smaller size um, is uh, $60, like you can see here. So you can see the large one versus the small one, so $60, about $190. And they're made exactly the same with these big clear gaps, all right? And there's just clear around the whole outside. So I'm not sure how these are made, but they are mass produced. Now, we're going to be moving on. Now, this is just on Google, okay? So you can see um, I'm on Google down here, and you can see what I've typed in. Now, what I've typed in is just um, organized pyramids. Now, you can do this for yourself, but you'll be greeted with everything. These particular pyramids, like this one here and this one here, they are all the same, and this one up here, they're all the same, and you can go on any page. So, meaning that, see, I'm on page 16 right now, so we'll just go, Just I've been through all these pages, and they're on every page, and they're all just this fake stuff. So, as you can see there, as you can see, like, you can go do this for yourself, and you see lots of them with, um, like, the, the Flower of Life sticker on them. But they're all made basically the same. And there's lots of these ones here, your chakra ones, with all your different coloured crystals in it. And, um, yeah, they look pretty. I can understand why people go for them, because they look pretty. But as organite people, they do not work and function like organite, okay? They just look pretty. And um, even though, like, they look like that, they'll say they're crystals, but are they? They might just be coloured beads, you know? The way they're coloured and how bright they are, they could just be coloured beads, Okay. You don't actually know if they're actually generally actual crystals. Like, you see what I mean? Like, I just went on another page. They're, in fact, everywhere. And they're the same sort. They're the same type. There is different variants and different ones. Like, here, and here, and here. But you guys can do this all yourself. I'll go on another page. Just quickly, another one of those. These ones are everywhere. Up there. They're just, they're just everywhere. So you get the point, all right? So these ones here are everywhere. So you can go through pages and pages and pages of stuff, and they are just absolutely everywhere. All right? You know? So, yeah, I do think you get the point. And ones that are like this, so it's just loaded with just your gemstones. You've got... Yeah, your amethyst sphere in it. You've got, like, coiled wire by the look of that. It's not a copper coil. It doesn't really serve a purpose at all. But anyway. So moving on to some of our stuff here, okay? Now, this one here is not our stuff, but I'll get into that. Um, 
yeah, so this here is our stuff here. These pyramids here, for example. Now, this is some serious stuff. Now, this is in my opinion. You guys can think what you want. I still think these here are quite pretty, quite good. And uh, they are made properly, okay? Meaning that these here, all this here, this is not color. This is not a color. This is not fake. This is metal. This is metal powders. Very, very fine dust-like powders, okay? So this is brass. It's got um, black iron oxide powder and shungite powder all mixed together. And uh, poured into layers like this, as you can see, okay? All right. So very strong with shungite powders um, and all your metal powders. Now this here, what does this do? Um, that's not the only powders we use either, by the way. We've actually crushed up the quartz crystal and solenite powders into a very fine dust. And it's added throughout the whole layers, okay? So it's loaded with crystals. Very fine. It's all about the finer. The better, the more surface area, the more power, the more layers, okay? So... It being dust, very fine metal particles within the resin, and we mix it before we pour it. Um, it creates hundreds and thousands, if not millions of layers, compared to um, not much metal in what I just showed you, like a little bit up top, like say this here amount, and it's very fine, and that doesn't do bugger all. Now, we do use quartz crystal points, and I know these are quartz crystals because we saw some ourselves, and uh, they've got some sunlight going around here. But like I was saying, they're loaded with selenite powders. I grind this stuff up. It's very easy to grind up. And uh, it's like a dust. And you got to be careful. You don't want to breathe it in. But when it's in resin and you're creating all those layers, more power to you. So Wilhelm Reich discovered that the more layering effect of organic and inorganic materials ac accumulate more life force energy, making it a lot stronger, okay? So we make some serious stuff here. And it is testable with uh, the LM4 Life Energy Meter. All right, we make all our stuff the same. Um, there is different different pieces as well. We do make some prettier than others, but you can see what is going on in ours, and those metals are just uh, super fine. All right, super fine metals. <coughs> now, this piece here, now this is uh, one of Ken Roller's pyramids. You can see that uh, it is a little bit bigger than this one here. So this is one of our large pyramids, but not our biggest pyramids. And, um, yeah, so you can see. Now, he does ex the same thing, all right? So his, I mean, you can't really see. But uh, he uses very fine metal particles and um, crystal pa uh, crystal powders and stuff like that as well. In the center there, that's actually not a quartz crystal, but a selenite um, crystal, okay? So that's actually a piece of selenite. We, we, you, we, sorry, where we do use selenite, but we've got quartz crystal point in there as well, wrapped in copper wire, going clockwise. Helps really throw that energy out. There's a vortex of energy that comes out of the tip of these, as well as a localized um, scalar or organ field, okay? So this is where I got uh, Ken Roller's um, big pyramid from, large pyramid. Now, you can see the price right there, 399 so this is what it cost me, but this here is in actually uh, USD dollars. Now I am located in Australia, so what I did was I converted the money. So uh, amount three hundred nine nine from uh, USD to Australian dollars, and this is what I've actually paid for this. I bought this somewhat uh, quite a few years ago, so I would have paid around five hundred and eighty dollars um, for this pyramid here. Okay, so it's not cheap, but it's good. Well, I love it. And uh, this is what started it all, basically, okay? So, a serious pyramid. He knows what he's doing. He uses powdered um, materials as well to make many, many hundreds of millions of layers. And um, we do the same. All right, so this is our stuff. This is our take. And uh, nothing but good stuff, okay? So, I'm just sick of... Um, Basically looking at all this fake stuff and I just know that it's made cheaply, it's made incorrectly, they call it organite, they uh, got all this here, but it, indeed it's not properly made organite, okay? Um, all this is, in my opinion, alright? So, you know, the creator himself of organite, Carl Wells, who created organite, and um, this is exactly what he does as well. Well, with what I mean is he uses powdered materials, so he discovered as well that the finer the particle of metal, the better because you create way more layers. It, that's what it's all about, the, the layers that accumulate this life force energy. And that's actually what um, transmutes and changes and negates the negative effect of all your EMF on Wi-Fi and uh, stuff like that. And because it accumulates the life force energy, it can help plant grows, like plant growth, it can structure your water, 
um, life force energy is actually a, a structuring energy, okay? So anything negative, um, you know, any negative energy, you know, it could be from people, could be from electronic devices, actually negates it and changes it and transmutes it. Now, the addition to crystals into the mix, now you've got a really much more powerful, way more better at transmuting those energies. And it's always self-cleansing, always working, always, because crystals, they're alive, they have their own energy, life force energy about it. I test this out with the life force energy uh, meter, the LM4, experimental life energy meter, this is what I've got. And um, I can test crystals, I can test the organite piece itself when it's made, and I can test other people's organite and uh, come up with your own conclusion. And what we're doing here with what we make is uh, very proper and very correct in their making. Okay, so that is it, that's my little rant. And uh, buyer beware, if you want to buy something really pretty and fake, go for it. Um, that is all up to you, but this video is basically an awareness video, I guess. If you want Organite, do your research, look into it, check out our channel. There's other channels um, that are doing similar stuff to what we're doing, but it's it's a much more rarer um, occurrence, people actually making it proper, okay? People are using very large metal particles, and it will do something, but uh, not creating many layers compared to something like this and this. So these ones here are much stronger, okay? Alright guys, that is it. Stay tuned for more videos. Thanks for watching and bye for now.